Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, just want to quickly run through how I tie my method feeder and pellet feeder inline running rigs. And by that, inline, I mean a feeder that can run back and forward safely on, on your line. So there is, obviously it's not a fixed feeder, which most commercials and other fisheries now want you to use. Um, you can use the X-Safe on some fisheries, and I will show you how to do that in another video. Um, X-Safe is an elasticated feeder, so you've, it absorbs the lunges of the fish. Okay guys, so components we're gonna use. The two feeders um, I use are the Guru Hybrid Feeder and the Guru Hybrid Pellet Feeder. This time of year, you wanna scale down your size because you wanna be introducing less bait. So scale down guys is, is definitely a number one tip. Four inch Guru Ready Rigs uh, with the QM1s is what I use. And again, I do scale down um, the line size a little bit. I start using 017s, etc., and sometimes smaller, and the hook size, dependent on the fish species I'm after and the size of the fish. And finally, the Guru Speed Bead. So that is it, guys. Ready rigs, hook lengths, Guru Speed Beads, a Guru Feeder, job done. And if anyone wants to know what main line I use, I do drop down to six pound from eight pound, and it's the Guru Pulse line. This stuff is brilliant, never let me down, got total faith in it. Okay, guys, let's show you how to tie the rig. Okay, guys, so let's get to making this rig. So. First things first, hybrid feeder, little end cap, just pull that off, because that's where you're gonna go through your line first, is through this little end cap. So get the end of your line, pop it through that end cap like that. So it's on the line, you can see that on the line there now guys, hopefully you can see that. Thread that down the line. And then now your feeder through the small end first. And then thread that through. Oh, it's popped out, sorry about that. That's threaded through. See, so that's come through there now, guys. Hopefully you can see that. And that's why it's called an inline, because it's able to move up and down. The feeder is not fixed. I like a bolt rig effect, so it, if the line snaps, it can get rid of the feeder and it's only towing the hook length round, which hopefully with barbless, it should get rid of really easily. Okay, so we'll just move that down the line out of the way a minute. And then we are gonna tie the little speed bead from Guru here, it comes in two sections. So just hold each end, pop it off, and then you've got your rubber bit with the small tiny hole in the end. That's where your line is gonna go through next. So again, get the end of your line. It's gone through the feeder already. Thread it. Oh, my eyes are going. So through the little hole, comes out the other end, and then that's the little rubber part on the line. And then we're gonna tie on the swivel, which we've got left over the quick change swivel. So the next part we're gonna do is a Palomar knot. I hope that's pronounced right, guys. You're gonna go through the swivel eye. Give yourself probably about three to four inches, maybe say four, and then you're gonna go back with the line the way you came through the swivel. So back, so that's back through the line, guys. So give myself a bit more line. So then what you're left with is now is a swivel that is running on a doubled up loop, loop of line. And then next, we're gonna do an overhand knot part of the Palomar, is literally go round. So you've got two loops, the big loop and the little loop now. The little loop comes round behind, tucks and goes through the bigger loop. So you're like this, if you can see that guys. And then if you, with your fingers, hold the swivel, hold the top of the loops, and then you're gonna get the swivel and pop it through the smaller loop. So that's going through the smaller loop. So, and then start, whilst holding the two lengths of line now, you can see that, see that forming? And then just pull it, start to pull it down. Make sure it's going neatly around that eye. And keep pulling it. 
keep pulling it. A little bit of spit, moisten it. Pull that nice and tight, can you see that guys? And then one little tug, each end of the line, make sure it's tight. And then get your scissors, trim your tag. Here we go. And then get your feeder, slide that down the line. And then hold your plat rubber part of your bead. Pop that in now. So it now clips back in. So you can see it's clipped back inside there. And then we're gonna put the hook length on. This is why I love these quick change beads. As you can see there, guys, you can see it's like an open loop as such where it pins down like this. That's what's gonna hold your hook length in place. So, you've got, got your hook length, and there we go, with the loop. Hold the, swivel, hold the swivel part of the bead, so open it back up. Pop the loop, bit like loop to loop, but then it's going in this open loop gate. Pull it down, you hear it click. Hook length's on, pull the rubber bead now back over, so it covers at least half of the open gate right down you should only have about three to four mil left out and then well, you're all connected you're all done and there you go guys you can see i'll oh, stop that spinning for a minute we go one inline feeder with hook length attached ready to go and as i say within quick changes you want to change to a banded hook length a bait spike a longer hook length a shorter hook length it's that easy, just pulling that sheaf back, unclipping the hook length and your job's a winner. Thanks for watching guys.